Which guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic lower third for your videos in Photoshop. So let's open up Photoshop. Now lower thirds are those little banners that you get at the bottom of the videos that are actually uh, given a co-host or the host name or the name of the show and so on and so on and the web address and all that sort of stuff. So let's get started. We're going to go File, New and from New we're going to be clicking on Film and Video and on the size there we need to click on the size that we require now 1080p or 720p so I'm going to be doing 720p for this video also background you want to make sure it's transparent click OK OK now sometimes this can be pretty difficult to look at uh, and see what you're trying to do so you can use an image to get a, a, a rough idea of what you want and then turn that image off just before you save it so let's go ahead and do that now so I'm going to place a, a basic image in here just to, to get an idea of what we're doing. So let me just drag that up. Okay, it doesn't really matter because the image is not going to be staying there. It's just the fact that... Okay. So there we have our image in there. Don't worry about that, that's not going to be in the video. We're just going to get rid of that. So now we've got something we can see and we can work on. What I'm going to do here is um, start off with my first shape, which is going to be uh, a rounded rectangle at all. And all we need to do here is just map out exactly the size we want. Now you can go bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do here. So I'm, just, I'm happy with that. That'll be fine for me. So what I want to do now is add my image. Now we're going to be making a technology one here. So I've got a few technology images that I've downloaded off the internet. You can get these for free on the internet. So I'm just going to now get that inside there. Now if it doesn't work, don't worry, just blow it up a little bit. Like so. Now from here what I'm going to need to do is come up to layer and then create clipping mask and it should go straight inside that little box that we created there and okay, that looks pretty cool okay now sometimes you may want this nice and thick like it is there or you can actually just start to blend it out if you want to and we can do that by hitting the uh, mask there and then go up to gradient tool I'm going to have default white and black and then what I'm going to do is just drag that past like so okay you can use the opacity if you want uh, in video once you're in there so you can leave that full color and use the opacity to blend it down a little bit if you want to be a little bit translucent sort of thing okay so now we've got that blended out a little bit there like that what we need to do now is put in some bars here to to guide us so we're going to go back to our little tool here and uh, we'll put something in, something of that nature okay again same thing place and uh, you can pick your own sort of ideas what you want to do here don't think my ideas uh, are what you need to do you can choose your own ideas and um, this is a technology sort of one really click OK there again layer and there we have a bar inside there now okay so what we need to do now is uh, click on the shape there FX bevel and emboss just to round it off a bit also color overlay and uh, what we're going to do is click on the color tab and then click on a nice blue color on one of the on the picture you can pick whatever blue bit you want click OK there and then change the uh, blend mode to uh, color ok right now we can move this down if we wish to a little bit down here about there I reckon just move it a bit ok We'll do one more bar there. Okay, let me undo.
do that make sure you click on the right layer at the top it's on the wrong layer there okay so we're going to put another bar in just push that back a bit again file place and uh, we want to put in our circuit board look and then layer okay so there we got our next one so what we're going to do here is uh, click on the picture there okay just gonna click on color same thing so we've got that same look to it okay so there we have our two bars okay so what I'm gonna do next is get my little rounded eclipse there something like that will do and then I want to come down to the bottom here hold the control key to highlight that and its shape and that highlights that bottom run there and that will clip the top of this off when we click mask Okay, so we need to go back up to the top now and then what we're going to do here is place our image in there what we're going to use okay we're going to use this uh, earth sort of picture something like that you can spend more time on it layer and then clip that straight in like so okay so now we've got our little look there as you can see okay so let's put some text in there now and um, put some text so here we can put our a name of our, the host who's the host in the show okay so I'm going to put in there Okay, we're going to call this um, Brightech, and then we're just going to put in up there some sort of size that looks okay. Now you can use different fonts and stuff like that. I mean, I'm just sort of rushing here a little bit to try and get this done. Okay, so there we have the uh, the name there. Again, we can now put in. blue some sort of blue there that look okay for now and uh, also a bit of drop shadow that's fine and then we need to put our name of the show there now we could put the full name of the person in the name of the show you can put uh, logos in you do what you like really so next thing for us is to put in the name of the show and I'm going to call this tech news something like that keyboard's gone a bit messed up okay so I don't want that as big as that click OK there and then just drop that into place and then from there we're just going to copy this layer style and then just copy that straight up so it's straight in there like so okay might need to just uh, change that a little tad 
maybe down to uh, 20 or something like that there we go just to make sure that's in now you can play around with this a lot more and uh, mess around with it as you can see I haven't got, really got the time really um, okay so what we need to do here is line these two up make sure they're lined up and the way we do that is by highlighting those two text fonts there and then coming up to the top and then click it on align left edges and that will make sure they're square on okay and the last thing we can do is we could put a, t a logo down the bottom here if we wanted to down the end down this end part here if you wanted to or you could put a web address in there whatever you want to do it's entirely up to you so we'll just do uh, something along this line just to finish it off ok let's change this font here just going to quickly change the font maybe something like that will do let's try that now that's uh, that's not nice font so ok let's just change this font I'm going to click through here until I find one that I like ok that'll do for now you can play around with yours a lot more maybe there and uh, we're going to make that a bit smaller maybe not that small, maybe something like that and then let's just move that down to the end something like that go to some uh, blending options here see what we've got here, drop shadow maybe take that out ok so that's uh, basically uh, how you do that there you can do a bit more to it than, than that really so what we need to do next is save our file the most important thing you need to remember is take the background away okay you need to make sure you do that so you just take the background away and then we want to come up to actions make sure actions is on and uh, we're looking for video actions if it's not there you can click on this tab here and add it in okay uh, once we've done that we want to click on this one alpha channel click play continue if we go back to channel you'll see it there it'll be like that okay so what we need to do now is go file save as make it whatever name you like something like that and then we're going to save that like so you don't know uh, compression or nothing like that just leave it exactly as it is there click OK and the jobs are good so all we need to do here now is have a look at the tech images that we've got our one was called tech news and this is going to be our lower third and you just stick that on your video inside Wirecast or something like that and that will show up on the bottom of your videos 
and you can play around with the transparency there's loads of little things to do you can make different backgrounds uh, different types whatever you like okay that's just a rough idea you can move text about and stuff like that okay use your imagination I'm pretty sure you'll come up with better stuff than that okay hope you enjoy these videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit the subscribe button and also if you enjoy my videos uh, rate and favorite all my videos uh, the links down below for the forums I shall see you over there if you've got any problems okay thanks again for watching guys bye for now